Hello friends, my name is Suboptimal and I'm an Indian American software engineer learning the British accent because I got tired of my American one. In a previous video, I went over the details of my shader game engine. I explained that it's a simplified engine that exists solely to help me write, edit and iterate on shaders quickly. I also went over technical details like why I chose C++ and SFML over TypeScript and WebGL for building this engine. In this video, I want to showcase some of the shaders I made over the past few weeks using my shader game engine. Let me know down in the comments below if you want me to do a deep dive on any of them. Here's a demo of a sphere smoothly blending into a plane. The scene is colorized with the absolute value of the normals. Here's a demo where I raymarked the shadows of a triangle. I started learning some linear algebra from the immersive math book. I wanted to recreate the scene in a Raymond shader. Eventually, I realized that the shadows were off in this demo because I used a directional light instead of a point light. I tried to fix this with a point light, but now we see more graphics artifacts because the rays are hitting the wireframe and the light sphere. I decided to get proper shadows for the triangle by analytically calculating the shadow of the triangle using ray plane intersection tests. We use those points to draw the shadow on the plane. Here's a cool little shader animation where I apply distance fog. I got back to learning more linear algebra and finally learned what a determinant represented geometrically with three blue one brown's help. And I tried to visualize it in my shader engine. Got a working demo, but couldn't fix all the graphics artifacts. So I paused that for now. Here, I remarched a procedural terrain using value noise. I colorized the terrain based on its normals and added specular lighting. Decided to add distance fog and color grading and a tune shader to give the scene some contrast. Adding a sphere is interesting because you now move your focus away from the terrain and kind of stop focusing more on the sphere. After that, I tried to layer procedural noise shaders on top of each other using a technique called fractional Brownian motion.
And yeah, that's about it for this video. But what do you think about this shader compilation? Do you want to see more videos like this? Which shader was your favorite? And is there a shader you want me to do a deep dive on? Leave anything related to shaders and computer graphics down in the comments below. I'll try to get back to everyone. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.